Hello everyone, my name is Freaksy and welcome to the VR news of the week. Today we will be covering a lot of different areas in the VR industry that has happened under the week. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so Valve's monthly Steam hardware and software survey, which we've been carefully tracking for years now, has been a useful way to gauge how many VR headsets are being used on the platform each month. And the latest data shows an odd sharp drop in the number of VR users on Steam, but Valve doesn't want to say why. Now this is very weird since VR has never had a huge drop like this in its users, which is a little bit worrying, but we never know what the future holds, so I guess we just gotta have to wait and see what Valve does next. Hopefully we can get a statement from them on what is going on, but we'll just have to wait and see. The haptic VR glove company Haptex has raised over 12 million dollars in new funding, so Haptics raised this amount of money in a series of A1 investments. And this money will be used to create new headquarters in Redmond, Washington, which is very good because they also has announced that this will help them expand their team, which is always positive because with more people, you can do a lot more stuff. And if you don't know what Haptics is, well, to put it simply, it's a company that makes extremely advanced haptic feedback in the form of microfluidic skin, which is made out of silicon panels and vibration motors, which gives haptic feedback to simulate a real touch in, for example, a VR game or a simulation. Now, they also have their very popular VR glove that probably everyone has heard about by now, the Haptics Gloves DK2, which is able to apply force to your fingers, so you can simulate real touch when you're touching something. And it's about 40 pounds of force per glove, which is a crazy amount. Now, sadly, the Haptics products are only for companies, but at least the technology is there and hopefully it will be coming out to the consumer market in the future. Now, Facebook has gotten reports about their face interfaces, which was confirmed in a newly listed alert from the US Consumer Product Safety Commission for the Oculus Quest 2 face interface, which was today confirmed after reports of skin irritation from multiple Quest 2 users. Facebook said that they have received approximately 5,700 reports of the skin irritation from their customers in the United States. So we only know the approximate number in the USA and there might be a bunch more in the whole world. Now, Facebook has to recall every single unit in the USA and after 4 million of these face interfaces being shipped into the USA, this is very scary and hopefully these reports do not rise. And this might also be one of the reasons why Facebook is switching to the 128GB version, which has the new interface. And as goes for the Europeans, EU has not been forcing Facebook to recall these products, from what we know. So if you are in Europe and have one of these old face interfaces, I would highly recommend you to switch to the one of the new ones. So the extremely popular game called The Lone Echo will be getting a sequel. Sadly, it's an Oculus exclusive, which means we with for example Valve Indexes and HTC headsets and so on cannot play the game, which is really sad. But Facebook also announces that this will be their last ever Oculus exclusive, which is some very good news. But this also makes me a little bit sad because I really want to play The Lone Echo 2, but I don't own an Oculus product. But for you who do, then you're in luck because the original game will also be discounted down to $10 when the next game releases, which is a very good price for such a good game. And it's held up for 4 years and it's still one of my favorite games to watch and I remember watching it when I first got into VR. Your systems are failing. I barely managed to keep your core memory alive. <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And the last video did so well so I just want to thank you guys so much for that and I'll see you guys in the next one.